Rodrigo. Okay, so you're opening up for the EC Twins. How does it feel being on tour with them? It feels really good. You know, it, it's not just working and doing music stuff. They're like my older brothers, so we have a lot of fun together. So it's 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 awesome. So you, when you started your career, you opened up for a lot of a lot of DJs in Orange County and LA. Who has been your favorites that you've worked with, and who are you looking forward to working with in the future? Um, I'd say a pinnacle of my career was uh, opening up for Dirty South. He's been a big influence on my career as things have progressed over time. Uh, I'd say I'd be looking forward to pretty much anybody that's doing anything really uh, new and sort of original. Any, I'm really, I'm willing to work with anybody. You know what I mean? So it kind of, I couldn't say there's actually one person. It's just I'm excited about doing everything every day. So it's all good. Great. You wrote on Facebook, there is no better feeling than taking what's in your head and making it in reality. What is the process of when you create your music inspires you to when you start off? Well, I think that um, the most beautiful thing, what I get to do every single day is I just go to the studio and when we're starting a new idea, it's just, you have a blank computer screen and you have nothing going, there's just nothing going on and then all of a sudden over time spending you know a few days in the studio you have this thing that you've been creating for the past couple of days and you go out and play it and it just changes everything that's going on within the room at the clubs and all that stuff so it's like I just love creating so I would have just as much fun growing like plants or anything as long as you start out with nothing and you have something beautiful to show at the end I think that's what it's kind of all about so it's good so what's next for you after the, after the tour with EC Twin? Uh, right now, just we're working on a lot of music. We got a lot of really good stuff coming out. Um, I got some good stuff happening in Vegas. Uh, I've been playing at a really a lot of g really good clubs in LA, like Create Night Club. It's like one of my favorite places to play. And uh, I have my residencies in San Diego and Orange County. And we're just kind of going with the motions and just enjoying life every single day. So I have no complaints. It's just all good, you know. Great. great. All right, well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you out there. Thank you. wallets that's all that is did you know that it's been my experience that anybody that wears a wallet chain doesn't have any more than like three dollars fifty in the wallet <laughs> that's good so to know this is how to identify somebody who's a broke motherfucker <laughs> but yeah, I'm they're, 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 they're merely there for the purpose of we don't lose our wallets. Alistair's lost two car keys today. Oh wow! That's today, crazy. today, <laughs> I actually left one of our car keys in the car. It's one of those, you know, where you don't put it in the ignition. Well, I'm old school. I left it in the car. Fortunately, in a good area. When I came back, I was like, oh, would you look at that? The car's still on and open. So I, I need to chain things to me. Okay, you guys are responsible for making the um, electronic music popular here in the U.S. So How does that make you feel? I that. Thank God, <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. No, I mean, it makes me feel... I'm glad you acknowledged it because usually nobody really acknowledged that when we came here there wasn't much electronic dance music. They weren't playing electronic dance music at Universal City Walk. Um, it makes me feel happy. Makes me feel happy. <laughs> okay, you guys have worked with a lot of different producers and and anybody you guys would like to work with. Mm, that's, a good, that's a good question, and we always get asked it, and you think that we'd have an answer by now. You know, I always all my life wanted to work with Giorgio Moroder or Niles Rogers, and then Daft Punk did that. But I also kind of wanted to work with Daft Punk too, and then they all, all three of those guys got together, and I was like, oh, next. Yeah, I mean, we're always, we're always, you know, we're always looking, it depends just who comes along, you know, obviously like Adele came along and we did a remix for her, Lana Del Rey, LMFAO, were friends of ours, so we worked with them. Sam Smith's quite interesting at the moment, I'd be interested to hear what he's writing. Only he's got quite a soulful voice, you know, we quite like his soulful edge. Go on, you speak. Yeah, only because he, 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 we like, like, 80s soul music and he likes Luther Vandross, so... 
I guess yeah, like working with him, he's like the. Just like Luther Van Dross, Mac. He likes them all. <laughs> Anita Baker, he likes them all. Mark doesn't know as much about the about the subject matter as me. He likes them all. So yeah, we like his. He's almost like a, a male version of Adele to us. So and he can write. So that's always useful to us, somebody who can sing and somebody who can write, and then we can put our edge on it to make it more accessible and enjoyable for our our crowd. Just got back from Europe, we were two weeks out of the studio, forced really. Uh, we had to go to Britain and uh, get our new visas, so we're back now and we're ready to go in the studio. We've got a track coming out with Dorigo and one coming out a few months after, a more pop song. Pop orientated. It's still what you guys refer to as EDM, electronic music, but it's pop orientated. And then after that, who knows? But yeah, it's always a tough question. Sorry, it's always yeah. a tough question. Music's our passion and our job. So I when can talk, to, talk to you about it all day. <laughs> when creating music, how do you guys feed off of each other to do the best thing, the best product? I guess. Well, Alistair. Will, well, I've got a thousand ideas, and then Alistair will normally moan about one of them, and then I'll go and do it. Like we just did a, I don't know if you know that Kaiser song, it was a number one in the UK. Um, how the hell have I forgotten what it's called? We just remixed it. Hideaway, excuse me. And uh, so Alistair said, let's remix that. So we did, and I spent all day remixing it, and I asked Alistair a million times, do you like it, do you like it? And he was lying on his ass, <laughs> checking Facebook, and he's like, <laughs> like, what about this? <laughs> and then at the end of the day, you're probably a 12 hour day, I turned around and said, okay there, I think it's finished, you want to hear it from the top? And he went, what the, what did you do that for? What's that like? That's what he did, so we don't really feed off each other, I just do all the work and then he moans and that's it. Do you have any comeback for that? I just don't understand the point of his story, to be honest with you, I mean, we were on a deadline with that particular song and we had like eight hours to do a remix and uh, honestly, I'm not sure we knocked it out of the park. <laughs> normally I'm sure normally we have a, a big timeline to do a remix and we don't leave until 100% that one we had 8 hours and it, it's tough to it's tough to get it done in 8 hours I mean I love what we did with the record I love what we did but I think it was very much uh, we did something that we love and we didn't think about I don't know no comeback, no. Okay, so you guys are <laughs> you guys are currently on tour right now. How has the experience with? I mean, you guys have traveled all over the world. How are you guys? What are you guys looking forward to right now next? I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, honestly, this sounds horrible, but I'm looking forward to going to bed tonight because <laughs> we just flew in from Europe. Migration for three hours. I feel absolutely horrendous, and my body has no idea. Right time, my body has no idea what time it is. Well, at the add eight hours onto whatever time it is now. That's what time it is for us. But this, I think we've got some really exciting news that we won't be allowed to announce right now. But if anybody's following, we've got some really exciting news coming up, connected to our Vegas residencies as well as our releases, and also we're going to make our debut to Australia this month, which is going to be crazy because I think we literally do something like. Wednesday in LA and then we do like Friday and Saturday in Australia and then we do Sunday uh, back in America so we're gonna do a crazy flight to just do the gigs and come back but I've never been to Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? No, I wish I've been to Australia yeah, actually. And, if, and being honest there's a lot of good Australian DJs and producers and a lot of them are our friends. We just did a song with Bass Clef who's a big Australian producer so um, so it's about time that we went out there so that's what I'm looking forward to now and and going checking out the Australians. They, that started to, as a colony of British criminals. Did you know that? No, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, either. that's what Australia was. So they're <laughs> probably quite a rowdy bunch, but I like rowdy people and I hear good things about the Australians. So I think that's what I'm not looking forward to the actual traveling, but I'm looking forward to being there, but it'll probably be blinking, you miss it. Sydney and Melbourne, I'm looking forward to that. And the Vegas announcement, which we won't be allowed to make yet. Well, I'm looking forward to see you guys perform tonight. So thank you very much, EC Twins, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.